trucking companies have some really dirty tricks that they do to drivers. I saw a butte the other day, I was looking at an ad for some mega carrier and the, the sign said, $10,000 sign-on bonus. And I laughed right out loud. I thought, how many years does it take to collect that, if ever? Trucking companies don't give away free money. There's always a dirty angle. And trucking companies have a problem with the English language as well. A sign-on bonus means they accept your paperwork, they hire you, you sign on, they pay you the $10,000. That's what a sign-up bonus is. But it never, ever works like that. They always break it up. Oh, you'll give you a little each month in increments over the span of a couple of years. And the trick is to make you stay as long as possible. They're not going to give guys $10,000, especially guys new to the company. Or they'll take it after a couple of months and they'll twist the sign-on bonus into what they're now calling a safety bonus. And you'll have a couple of scrapes or get a ticket or whether you really do or not, they'll say that you have. And that'll come off the sign-on bonus. Now what is a safety bonus got to do with a sign-on bonus? Absolutely nothing. Say it again, boys. Nothing. Or they'll they'll twist it into some other thing. They'll they'll twist it into some other sort of a fuel mileage bonus or something like that. The truth of the matter is, they'll maybe add it to your pay in increments. It'll become taxable, and they'll treat you like crap in the meantime because they know that you're hanging on for that bonus. That's why you're still there after all these months. And it becomes not a sign-on bonus, it becomes an endurance bonus. So they can treat you like crap and give you as much crap as they can possibly throw at you because you're hanging in there for the money that may never, ever come. Another dirty trick trucking companies have is shrinking the mileage. So they'll get you on board and all of a sudden, Dallas to Houston isn't 240 miles, it's only 200 miles or New York to LA, instead of it being 2,800 miles, all of a sudden it's 2,500 miles. They've got this continental drift thing going where the customers just seem to get closer and closer all the time. It's another scam, they're just chopping the mileage. Or, or this fuel bonus scam. So they'll give you a company truck that they have specced out and say, if you don't get this mileage with it, you don't get the fuel bonus. So guys end up like living like an Eskimo in the winter time and like an omelet in the summertime because they shut off the truck to save the fuel for what? For another penny a mile and they're japping the miles anyways. Free waiting time. There's a good one. Virtually all carriers these days know enough that they have to charge while their trucks are sitting in their customers' docks and they do charge for that. The trick, though, is not to let the drivers find out because then the drivers will want a piece of that waiting time. They'll want to be paid for their waiting time. So even though the carriers are getting paid by their customers for the waiting time, they're not passing it on to the drivers. Another scam, false freight claims. If you ever been to a shipper's dock where you're not even allowed on the dock, they seal the trailer when you're loaded, and yet they'll want you to sign for piece count. You've never been on the truck or on the trailer. You've never counted the freight, but they want you to sign the bills for piece count, for how many pieces are on board the trailer. And the carrier will use that against you if the load is short. Don't ever, ever sign any of your shipping and receiving documents with your real name, because then they can use that against you if they want. Sign the bills. Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck or Sylvester Stallone or God knows what, Arnold Palmer, doesn't matter. Don't sign your real name because then you become legally responsible for something that you've had absolutely nothing to do with. That's a dirty scam that they run. Free layover time between loads. So the company is going to sit you for a few days while they wait for a backhaul that will make them money, yet you'll sit there for a few days for their benefit at your own expense for the food and maybe even a hotel room to benefit them and you get nothing out of that, that's crap, it's another scam. If there's an angle to beat drivers out of money these days, these mega carriers have it all figured out and they'll do it. Some of these carriers are making more money scamming their drivers than they are off 
freight that pays well. And look at look at this Pilot Flying J fuel scam that they imposed on the mega carriers they've been caught at, where the pilot was, was cheating the carriers. Don't you think if the shoe was on the other foot, the carriers would cheat their drivers in a heartbeat if they thought they could get away with it, and get away with it they do, and they do it every day. So all I can tell you is the scams out there are wide and numerous. Check your pay statements every time you get one. Check your mileage, get a PC miler program, track your odometer readings, and don't become your carrier's favorite charity. Let me tell you about a little bit about my shirt here. You've probably noticed it, it's a little gaudy. Picked it up at the Pilot in Lordsburg, New Mexico a few years ago. It's not really my style, but I did want to wear it just to show you guys. <laughs> As I say, not my style, but it makes me feel like a gangsta. Take care and I'll see you on the back hall.